everybody. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you right away how I make money. So a lot of people, when they come to my island, they're like, hmm, that's really nice. Can I have some money? And every time I explain to them that, well, everybody started with zero and so should you. Nobody gets a free handout. However, I am willing to explain how I made my money. First things first, mob spawner. This is the way that you can make some money growing and exponential. Eventually, you will reach this level, which is basically the limit. Let me explain you how it works. The mechanics of spawners in this skyblock at nether games works as follows. You can only have 30 spawners maximum on your island. You can only have 20 monsters total on your island. And you can only have 7 monsters of each type. What I mean by each type is, for example, here you have skeletons. You can only have seven skeletons on your island. No matter how many spawners you have, even though you only have seven skeletons, no other monsters, you will never have more than seven. Same goes for every other kind. So for me, I have seven, well, nine spawners of iron golems, nine spawners of zombies, and nine spawners of skeletons. The reason why I use zombies instead of spiders is because of hitbox height. I have ice, water, signs and then lava so i need a three hitbox kill for my monsters as such i use zombies instead of spiders because spiders have a two height hitbox so by having nine what you're doing is you're optimizing the respawn rate you can only have seven at a time by having nine the moment one of them dies because it has a five second respawn you're automatically gonna have a new one respawn. So at all times, you will have 20 monsters on your island being murdered by lava. Well, murdered. Being killed, if you will, either way. So this is the way that the spawner system works. You start with chicken, then you will go and upgrade a few to rabbit. The point is to have as many as you can with the max speed as early as you can. I highly suggest to upgrade a few cow mushrooms to level uh, about one out of three, uh, one out of ten seconds, then eventually have nine cow mushrooms, all of them out of one five second. This is the spawn rate, one every five seconds. You have nine of them. Then, once you have nine of them respawning every five seconds, you only upgrade one of them to iron golem, and eventually second, third, so on and so forth until you have nine iron golems. Then you go for a second row of nine, same thing, you upgrade them to level four, which gives you the cow mushroom, and you upgrade them to skeletons, all of them, and then lastly for whichever spider or any other kind of monsters that you prefer. So this is the spawner system. This is one way I make money. The other way I make money is a cacti farm. So you can start small and expand. So you might want to consider the cost of a cacti farm due to the fact that each one of those sand costs a hundred dollars. And then you have to factor in the amount of time you will spend. The cost of the cacti themselves is very low because you can start with a small cacti farm plant a few cacti and let them actually expand, allowing you to just collect those cacti and replant them. This is what I did. I only started with a stack of 64, allow them to grow, destroy, and then go into the chest, allowing me to repeat this process multiple times until, well, basically, I have currently 9,400, I think, planted. Um, all of that costing me only a stack of 64. However, the sand is another story you cannot deprecates or <laughs> you have to buy the sand so just keep that in mind you might want to start small I also changed the dirt to ice as the flow rate as you can see is really fast allowing me to later expand this to further heights instead of just building up because when you build up you will have some cacti getting stuck versus if you build an expansion with only one or two layers the amount of stuff well cacti will get stuck are minimal what I I'd suggest is to understand how the cacti growth system works. The third phase of the cacti is not flower, but actually an extra height. As such, what you want to do is you want to have a cacti, you want to have a fence or whatever you want to use to break the cacti, but allow it to have an extra space. So as you can see, it's cacti, space with the breaker, an extra space, and then the uh, second cacti. The reason why is because it will allow the cacti to go to phase two. Therefore, every single one of those drops, you can see it's two. 
instead of one. So my my throughput is multiplied by two. So currently I have 9,000 cacti farmed, but instead of only getting 9,000 per 20 minute tick, I get 18,000, which is substantially more. So this is what I suggest. Build a cacti farm small, start with one layer, then second layer, adding an extra space, and then third layer, but again, third layer is pretty much the top. Otherwise you will start getting a lot of cacti stuck in between and that is really not what you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to an island because a lot of people say, well, you can fly, it's not fair. How am I supposed to build it? So let me go ahead and show you. Someone who I've met today asked me, hey, look, sorry to bother, but can you go ahead and show me how to do it and then I'll build it? I said, sure, not a problem. I will show you how to do it. So let's go to their island and show you real quick. So as you can see, I've already done it once to show them and now I'm gonna go ahead and do it a second time to show you all. So the center doesn't really matter. You can build it in any way you want. He decided for a one by one cube entrance, which is a good idea. So here's the entrance where everything will flow and he decided to do a four cube distance which is fine you can go all the way to seven the way that water works is that if you have water for example here flowing down it will flow all the way to eight cubes so by stopping at the seventh the water will flow down to the eight and then restart the process seven flow down to the eight and then go and flow down so i've already built both sides so i'm going to go ahead and build this side now to show you so you want to go ahead and build seven and then an eight platform so that you can have a support to build up. So seven, an eighth up, and this one counts as one. So let's go ahead and count together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight up. So I'm on PC, so I'm going to be shift so that I don't fall. And then I'm going to go ahead and repeat this, this process. And that's it. That's, that's literally all you have to do all the way until you reach the edge of your set boundary that you created for your island. I uh, lost count. And eight, and then up. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this process. that's this, the edge of his island so I'm gonna go ahead and well the edge of his farm anyways so as you can see here this is the way that you want to make it so that water can properly flow it will flow all the way to the center and the way what you do to make sure that your system works is that you make here hollow so for example you will put your spawner here you will not put it here so that actual water can flow down, therefore dragging all of the goods that will be trapped here down one level. Therefore, you will collect 100% of all the loot. I highly suggest to use my system of um, collection, which distributes across, if you don't have a rank in the games, 15 hoppers. That is what I suggest, of course. Um, but let's go ahead and finish this real quick to show how the sides are done. So for the sides, I'm going to go ahead and create one corner to give you an idea. So again, back to no flying. This is going to be the center. So you start here, then you press shift if you're on PC and you start doing the zigzag, which is quite simple. You just go backwards. It's really fast to be honest. No need of flying. Obviously with flying goes faster, but there's no need. And as you can see, dirt is really cheap. It's dirt cheap. It's $320 per stack, which you can make easily with a mob farm that is beginning. And again, per chest full of items, you get a total, if I remember correctly, of 22,000. So as you can see, you can easily afford uh, a beginning of a, of a farm because you can create the cacti form only here in the center just a few and then expand to the rest but you can already build a base that really doesn't cost you much and this is what i suggest so you you build the system and then after that you just build a cacti farm as you can afford not just wait until until you know 
a few days fast and then you're like mm, I should have bought, built a cacti farm so as you can see here I've reached the center this side is already done and the way that it works is you do the same for this corner so it's one two three four five six and seven and then an eighth you, you build up again So you get the drift, sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and build it while flying, it's a little faster. And we're almost at the edge. Let's see here. Yep, that is the edge, so. I want to make it a little taller so it's clear. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There you go. And you build the same thing. So you will go seven down, seven down, seven down, so on and so forth. And eventually you will build zigzag here, 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 here. Once all of that is done, you'll have a nice structure which basically is able to flow water down you can imagine this being filled it will flow all the way down to the center where all items are collected apologies for that which i will show my island once again So as you remember here, what we just built is this column here. And then we built this column here, where then water is all concentrated here. That's it, just one corner block needs the whole system of water, which saves you in the sense that if you want to replace the dirt for ice, like I have, remove the water, replace all the dirt for ice, which looks absolutely stunning and then put the water back and as you can see we're back in business all the items flow extremely fast with water which is totally worth it now it is a big investment only do it later but it is worth it so now let's go ahead and check the chest system which is absolutely vital i have all of my spawns from the mob farm flow through this gap across the island inside into this tube so that everything is centralized so let me go ahead and show what this centralization works i have this built at the bottom of the island meaning that if i throw this it's instant disappearing if i show you the water here at the, at the end it doesn't flow down why i'm at the bottom of the island and the reason why i have done it like this is so that it allows extra flow to flow out and just disappear. Why is it important? It's because sometimes you will have AFK on your island a while and items will fill up your chest. Those items quickly can make your island lag if you do not have an out valve. This is my exit overflow valve. Now, how does it work? Well, all the items fall here and I have an extra gap. So it's a two by two. The third block here is where the water is, so when an item falls here, it automatically is pushed away. Therefore, after that, the items flow through this gap, then it flows through this gap by using panels, which you've seen in the last videos and how the water system works, and then it goes across multiple hoppers, just like a conveyor belt system. This allows the items to be sucked in by the hopper, distributed down, by having multiple hoppers under, the hopper from below takes the items that are stacked into the first hopper, into the next chest, same thing goes on and on. So instead of having one hopper, one chest, you have multiple hoppers into one flow system, one next to each other, and the advantage of this way of doing things, you can just grab a hammer, um, an axe, break those chests, then just type sell all, and then repeat the process put the chest back and you're back in business now 
at the end, all the items overflow and they just disappear. This really allows you for avoiding lag and of course it just makes things simpler to collect and sell once you have everything full. Currently with a 29 chest system I make about 4 million when everything is full. You can imagine if you have 15 chests you'll make about half which is 2 million but the throughput is not limited by the amount of chests you have but rather by the amount of cacti you have. So. Even if you don't have a legend ring, you could still make so much more money. You just have to make the island bigger, more cacti, and here it will fill up so quickly, you will have to sell your chest more often. So there you go. This is how you can make money quickly, easily, and at really low cost. What it will cost you is time, because this takes a while to build. Anyways, I hope everybody liked it. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, and till next time.